exploring the gesture controls. Open an artwork and then using your thumb and your forefinger to zoom in, pinch outwards and to zoom out, pinch inwards. So making the artwork smaller, you stretching your fingers open to make it bigger and pinching them in to make it smaller. To rotate the artwork, hold your thumb and forefinger down and twist and that will rotate the artwork. To make the image fit the screen, quickly pinch outwards and the image will snap to full size. A four finger tap hides the tools so you don't see any of the tools and tap the top icon and the tools will reappear. To undo, two finger tap will undo, three finger tap will redo. Copy and paste, a three finger swipe will give, bring up the options for copy and paste on the screen. To create straight or curved shapes, draw a line and then hold. So you draw in the wiggly line and hold and it will automatically straighten. So it doesn't matter how curvy you go. To do a circle, if you draw a circle and then hold the edge of the circle to the beginning of the line and it will draw a circle or an oval shape so you'll get perfect curves. To avoid finger smudges and blobs you can turn off the gesture controls. So if you go to the spanner tool and then go to gesture control and set to finger touches will only perform gestures and now it'll be just the pen tool that will draw and your fingers won't so it will avoid help you to avoid creating unwanted marks you can go and change the settings back in the same way And here if you change the, so the settings back you can again draw with your fingers if you want to. So again the gesture controls you can turn them off. And then your fingers will just do the um, gesture controls rather than drawing and smudging and erasing. So layer gestures. So if we open the layer palette, you can tap the little cross on the top right hand side to add new layers. Swiping left on a layer will enable you to delete, duplicate or lock a layer and you can do this for individual layers. To merge the layers, just pinch them together and they will become one layer. So all the artwork will be on one layer. Selecting multiple layers, tap one layer, swipe right on multiple layers below. You can then pinch them to create one layer or tap group to group them. Tapping the layer once re reveals opacity slider. Here you can slide the opacity slider up and down and it will change the opacity of that layer. 
Tap and hold a layer selects all the contents and then you can use the selections to make adjustments to the selected layer. Colour gestures. Using the screen to select and change colours, this is a handy little tool. If you just hold your finger down on the screen and then move it around, you can see the top section in that semicircle picking colours for your of your artwork. It's a really quick way of um, just picking some a, a colour colour shade that you might want to use and to undo is two finger tap and you'll undo what you've done tap and hold the colour button and, and it will revert, revert back to the last colour you used so if you've chosen a colour and then want to go back to the colour you were previously using that's what you will do to colour fill an entire layer, just tap and drag the colour over onto the layer. You can colour fill whole layers and shapes this way.